are my crab baby. Like most things, Strike Through 8 starts at the beginning. Well, the writing process is the beginning of a Strike Through 8 sketch, but we actually refer to it more as the idea process. So these are the ideas we have for this uh, month. Does anyone think we should film any of them in particular? Anyone? Anyone? Does anyone have a, a thing of what we should film for this, this sketch? Does anyone have any ideas? Um, anyone? Anyone at all? Anyone? No? no. Alright, well, I guess uh, we'll just film the ones I want to film. The idea gathering stage is ultimately useless because only me and Justin put forward ideas. My works try to involve, my ideas try to involve great literary themes and juxtaposition. Justin's ideas involve more bodily fluids. When it comes to the actual writing process of the sketch, I like to do it twice. Um, one with each Eric, because there is Eric Chatal and Eric Leonhardt, and it's a known fact that if you are friends with two people of the same name, one of them is evil. It's like the whole yin and yang theory. I have a few theories of who I think is the evil one, but um, I don't know for sure yet. But I will. Just you wait. Justin has this this problem when it comes to his writing. It's that he's... he's obsessed with his couch. I mean, everything, every sketch has to revolve around that couch. Whether it's... I mean, everybody sitting around that couch, or one person sitting around that couch, it doesn't matter, it's always the couch. I mean, the farthest, the farthest we ever move in this sketch is, is to the kitchen, or to his bedroom. That couch. Pretty sure Justin just uses sketches to uh, exploit the female members of the cast. Every idea he puts forward, he just tries to find another way to get the one of the female actors to go topless. And now I present to you guys a sketch that I'd like to call Boobzilla. The premise is simple. Every girl walks into the room and they're topless. And their boobs begin to grow and grow and grow! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yes! Tits! What do I think of Justin's exploitation of the female actors? Honestly, I don't really care because he exploits me more than Shalana. I don't want to talk about it. I guess my least favorite part of uh, writing with Justin is that once he gets an idea in his head, it's like nothing else matters. You can't get it out. It has to be his idea. I mean... <sighs> There's like nothing you can say to him. He won't even he won't even hear somebody else's opinion. That's kind of the reason why this week we're uh, we're writing Boobzilla. I'd say that the actual shoot is my favorite part of any sketch. Why? Because I love putting on different characters and being someone new every time. Like this week, we're doing the sketch Boobzilla. And I'm debating either playing Mexican Shalana or German Shalana. I'll probably just decide halfway through the shoot. Oh no, it's one of the boob lord boob bots. I must destroy you. Oh no, no, mi amigo! Cut! Nein schnitzel for you! Cut! Cut! You've got some fur to mouth. Cut! Shalana! I need to talk to you. Justin likes to pull me aside a lot and explain how I'm just not following his vision. So usually I just start crying and then I get my weight. Okay, okay. You can, you can do it. You can do it in a Spanish accent. <gasps> Shalana cries a lot and I, I don't really like that because it makes me very uncomfortable. That's the word for it. So this is the climactic final fight between me, the godsend, and the ultimate boob evil. Um, do you have any questions? Yeah, is this really the sketch for this week? Why do you ask? Fear me, mortal. You're supposed to be topless! This is a terrible sketch. Well, you see, <clears throat> Justin has this really interesting style of directing, it's, um, it really makes the actors come out, you know, and it's, it's really good for everyone. 
I like Joe. He has a very um, certain air about him. And that's why I usually always end up putting him in the lead role of a sketch, because he's very... He's just very good. No, no, I really want this lead role. I really want this fucking lead role. Okay. Now, if you don't give it to me, I'm going to shoot you, you got it. You got it. in the testicles. You got it. You got it. Right there. Okay. <sighs> yeah, um, he has a certain air about him, that's it. Yeah. There are moments when I feel like I'm not really in Strike 3 because Justin keeps ignoring me. But I think it's because he has a secret project he wants me to be in. That's my, that's my. Nick. Nick. Nick, 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 Nick. No, it's not ringing any bells. The editing process is very frustrating, to put it kindly, because, well, each time I get a new sketch put ahead of me, the actors <laughs> like to change their continuity. Um, for example, some of them take off their glasses between takes, other of them, they just speak a different dialects and accents the whole time, and more often than not, it's a very frustrating process. Uh, usually, on average, while editing a sketch, I have to be rushed to the hospital for attempted suicide. Strike 3 has lots of fun. We usually try to put out quality stuff, and normally that happens. I foresee lots of success in our future. I, I guess you could say that, uh, Strike the Weight's really great. <laughs> I'm hilarious! What does the future hold? Robots. Everything, everyone, will be robots. We'll be controlled by our own creations. Uh, that's why we need to stop making things like Cleverbot and Osmo, because these things learn, and they converse with us, and it won't be long before they're integral members of society. And once they're integral members of society, we'll have to give them things like rights, and, and once they have the rights, they'll have the ability to uh, disobey, and once your own creations disobey, it's just, it's, it's, it's a mess, it's a, it's, it's a big cluster of Christians, look at Christians! Every moment with Strike 3 is just magical, you know? It's just like... All the things, all the new things we're doing, and we're pushing limits with everything, and... I don't know. I just don't want it to change. Oh, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I like Strike 3. It's great. I... I really feel that we're, we're helping... We're helping the world. There are robots in the future of Strike 3. Very good, Nick. Strike 3 is an amazing opportunity for myself and the other actors because it gives us a medium to perform in. And as for Justin, well, we all worry about him. I think he's a sexist bigot who is uh, a little bit psychotic and is one day going to go off the deep end and shoot up a daycare. But until then, he has strike three to keep himself sane. Every day, I get up, look at my camera, and ask myself, why do I keep doing something that I hate? <laughs>